Hey guys, it's Chelsea. So today I'm going to show you how to make a quick dinner when you weren't expecting to have to make dinner for anyone but yourself. I thought my man was supposed to be at work tonight, but he called me about an hour ago and turns out he's coming home. So I'm going to show you how I make one of my favorites and it's not very gourmet or or homemade it's just kind of a quick meal but good filling and I'll get into it so I'm going to make bourbon salmon and show you how I put my own little twist into making the fish I have my oven preheat, preheated on 350 now this salmon, I like the bourbon salmon versus getting normal salmon and seasoning it myself because the bourbon salmon is very like, I don't know, it tastes more juicy and a little more fattening, which I love that. So the downside to the salmon from Publix is its price. It is $7.99 um, per piece of fish, which is totally delicious, but that's a little pricey. Um, every other week it goes on sale for $5.99 a piece. So today I didn't get so lucky. So I have my pan, and like I said, my oven is preheated to 350 degrees. The instructions say um, something to the effect of um, put these in the oven or grill or bake and just leave it like that. But I like to add my own little twist to the salmon and you can see how big the pieces are. Now I'm going to dispose of this trash. My boyfriend taught me if you clean up your mess as you go, that there's no mess to clean up. So, I have some butter, even though the salmon is already really juicy and like tasty, it like falls apart. This butter, it has olive oil and sea salt. So this is not a healthy meal, guys, so I hope you're not expecting that. Then I get some butter, just like so, and I put some in the pan, a little bit on each piece, which I'm cooking three pieces, so him and I will each get um, a full size salmon and then a half. Not all at once, but say if we want leftovers. So I put some butter on each piece of the salmon. Now, as far as seasoning, I'm going to leave it alone. But I got some lemons, which we love lemons in this household because you can put lemons in your water and it helps with digestion. You can use lemons to put on dark marks and it lightens your skin. There's just so many benefits for lemons, but I'll have to get into that another day because I have to get dinner ready. This man should be home any time. So then I take a few lemons and I cut them into pieces. I just cut them into fourths. If I had time, I would cut them like into like little circles, but I don't have time. So with a few of the lemons, I am going to simply squeeze over the salmon and then put these lemons 
around, put the remaining lemon around and on top of the salmon. And the salmon doesn't take very long to bake at all. That might be a little much. Okay, so I'm gonna get this in the oven and it should take about 15 to 20 minutes to bake. I'm gonna turn on my oven light so I can keep an eye on it. Now, for the next thing, I know, not so healthy, we're gonna make some boxed macaroni and cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water. Pour it in. And start the water, get it boiling. This is like my quick meal, like trying to make it like 20 minutes, 25 minutes or less. So that's, while that's boiling, the last thing that I'm making is one of our favorites. Should have picked up some honey. I think I have some honey packets. Are the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuit. Biscuits. So I was about to start making my um, cheddar biscuits, but the water for the macaroni is boiling. So I'm going to go ahead and get that, get these noodles into the pot. I really do know how to cook more than box food, guys. I'm the oldest of seven kids, and I cook a lot. But like I said, this is just a really quick meal fix. Like, I had like an hour heads up, and he wanted a homemade cooked meal. Okay, so get the biscuit mix ready. Okay, the next thing it says that I will need is a half cup of sharp cheddar cheese and three fourths cup three fourths of a cup of cold water. So I like a little extra cheese, so I'm going to pour a little more than half a cup in here. Who doesn't love cheese? Okay. Now I need three fourths cup, three fourths of a cup of cold water. So I'll use this and get the water from my sink. And I know how to eyeball three quarts of a cup. I think that's right. And I'm going to get to stirring away quickly while keeping an eye on my noodles. I'm sure there's like an excellent homemade cheddar biscuit recipe, but I'll have to figure that one out another day. I'm just gonna turn this way so I can stir it up a little better. maybe I need a little more water. I don't think I did that right. I thought I did. Okay. Much better. So. Yeah. 
yeah, that's much better. Okay, so the next thing it says to do is scoop the dough, basically, and put it onto the pan. And for this, it says to set the oven to 425, which my fish is still in there, but that's fine because I'm keeping an eye on it and I'm setting this to 425 so that I can bake my biscuits. Scooping my biscuit mix onto my already my pre sprayed pan. It looks like so. And once I put these in the oven, these are going to need to bake for, hmm, it doesn't even tell me. Well, oh, 14 to 16 minutes for golden brown. Since I've been cooking so long, I usually just like eyeball things and just like know when things are ready my little happy birthday sign that my man put up is still up. That's what that is. This one needs a little bit more. Them with them too big at biscuits. I love being pregnant because before pre pregnancy, I could not eat like this. Like, the only thing I could have was the salmon minus the butter. Okay, so can't really see what I'm doing. Sorry. Turn this, this way. There. So I'm going to, I put my biscuits into the oven because I'm done placing them onto the baking sheets. And it looks like my macaroni is about done. So now I'm going to get the drainer. All right, my macaroni has been drained and it's back on the stove. I've cut and opened the cheese sauce and I'm going to Squeeze the cheese, kind of like you're squeezing the last little bit of toothpaste out of your toothpaste. Because like I said, I want every little bit of cheese. I'm a gritty cheese monster. <laughs> well, I think that's as good as it's going to get. So I had turned off the I had turned off the um, stove while I was draining it. Now I'm putting it on low, and I'm going to stir. Well, I don't know where my other spoon went. I guess I left it at the sink while I was draining. That was my butter spoon, by the way. I'm just going to stir this and this is something that I'm going to add seasoning to. I'm going to add some pepper. Don't worry, 
I'll stir better when the camera is like not in my hand. So let me grab some pepper. <clears throat> Oops, I almost like sneezed. And just really so I have just checked on my salmon and my cheddar biscuits and it looks like I have a few moments to go so I'm gonna have a drink of water because I'm thirsty I was rushing like a motherfucker just kidding like an MF <laughs> I really didn't mean to curse that just like popped up That water tastes so good. Okay, so I told you my macaroni and cheese was setting was on low, and I'm going to turn that off now. Also, going to dispose of these boxes and wrappers and put my butter back into my refrigerator. Oh wait, I will be needing it for the garlic butter, the garlic butter stuff that's supposed to go, seasoning, that's supposed to go on top of the biscuits. Good thing I didn't throw it away. There's like two little things that come in here. So... I guess I'm supposed to melt the butter, mix these herbs, and then pour it over the biscuits once they're done. Let me check on my salmon again. so juicy let me see if I can like show you like how it just like falls apart so tender ooh that's hot 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 so now my biscuits are done I melted some butter in like a coffee cup with the herbs and I'm supposed to pour this over. I'm not pouring so much. I don't want to make them soggy. I'm supposed to pour this over our biscuits. Like so. So my quick 30 minute or less dinner is now ready. If you ladies or gentlemen have any suggestions or want to share with me um, quick 30 minute or less meals that you throw together um, feel free to leave a comment and share with me if you have any suggestions you can also leave the comment if you enjoyed my video and want to see more please subscribe I'm going to enjoy my dinner now well once he gets home see ya